This is a basic washcloth or dishcloth done in a stockinette stitch with a seed stitch edging. You should make it around seven and a half, eight, eight and a half square. So cast on as many stitches as you need to do that and work four rows in the seed stitch. If you don't know how to do the seed stitch, you should watch my video on how to do that. And then you're going to place markers after you do the first four seed stitches of the next row. You've got your marker here and your marker here. And then you just knit away. Remember for seed stitch, we purl the knits and knit the purls. So we're going to start this with a purl stitch. I'm just going to slip it and we're going to knit the next stitch. Purl over the knit and knit over the purl. Then you're going to take your marker, just slide it, and continue knitting till you get to the end of the row or till you get to your last marker. You want to use a nice cotton yarn for this project, one that can be put in the washer and dryer. And here we are at the last marker. We're going to slip that off and this looks like it should be a knit stitch, but we're going to purl the knit, knit the purl, purl, and knit. Now we're ready to turn the work over and you're going to do the same thing. This looks like it should be a purl stitch, but we're going to slip it as knit. We're going to purl, knit, purl, slide the marker off, and purl all the rest of the stitches until you get to the marker at the beginning. And here we are at the marker again. We're going to slide it off. Looks like it should be purled, but we're going to knit, purl, knit, purl. Turn the work around, and this time we're going to do the seed stitch all the way across. So we're going to slide that off as though it were a purl. We're going to knit, we're going to purl, knit. Now we don't need the markers anymore. Purl, continue this all the way across, knit one, purl one, until you get to the end. Continuing on, knit one, purl one, knit one, you can slide the marker off, and purl, and knit, and purl, and knit, turn the work over, slip the stitch as though it were a knit, purl, and continue doing this, knitting the purls, purling the knits, for four rows. At that time you will bind off and you will have your washcloth. I've done my four rows of seed stitch. You can see it's the same as it is on the bottom. And now it's time to bind off. And I'm just going to bind off the regular way using the knit stitch every time. And our last few stitches, last one, yarn over, you're going to take your scissors, cut off the tail, and just pull that through like that. And there you have your finished product. And this is a real good technique to know because even if you're making a scarf, you can do the edges like this so that it won't roll and think of how pretty it would be as a baby blanket. Have fun with this.